Good morning, A Bird Freedom Fam. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Art with A Bird Freedom Support here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And this morning for Why Wednesday, why not think a little bit and let's look at a difference of processes. Let's look at a tip versus a trick. A tip is a technical informative process, TIP, right? So a tip is something you can write down on a notepad and a pen. A tip would be to always have a notepad and a pen. But a trick would be the tactical rearrangement of an individual's conscious knowledge. Wow, that's pretty deep, right? But stop and think about it for a minute. If I have this Jocko Go sitting here, and it appears that it's sitting on the counter, and as I'm talking to you, I tell you I'm going to make this Jocko Go disappear, and you can't see my hand drop, and I know you can see my hand drop. It's for it, instructional purposes only. Now I make that go disappear. Well, I didn't make it disappear. I put it below the counter. But I tactically rearranged an individual's conscious knowledge. This go didn't disappear. Well, some of it did. So for today, I want people to stop and think about tips versus tricks. Tricks are a lot like shortcuts. It's a way to get you to the end fast. It's a promise of something to come, like a trick to make this Jocko disappear. It's a promise that when I'm done, you won't see this Jocko, even though it's right here with me. A tip, however, is I explain to you how to do something or I give you a technical informative process, such as the process for clearing your firearm. Could I give you a trick to do it? I guess so. But wouldn't it be better if you learned an actual informative process and then that process could be applied to every firearm that you pick up? Remove the source of feed, open the chamber, visually and visually inspect not just the chamber but also the bolt face or the breech and then go ahead and phys physically and visually inspect the magazine well, right? So that's a tip. A trick would be, oh dude, just drop the magazine, rack the slide real quick and move on. Ah, did it get you to the same spot? Possibly. What if there was a round in the chamber and it held on to the extractor and locked against the breech face on, say, a Glock 17, and now you rack that slide, but you didn't bang that round into the injector because you were using a trick instead of a tip. And now you just put that round back in the chamber. Yeah, the magazine is in your hand. It's in your pocket. It's on the table. But you now... Fucked up. You put a round in the chamber. Now you're going to do dry fire training. And guess what's going to happen when you press that trigger thinking you're going to dry fire shoot a light switch? You're going to put a hole in the wall. Inadvertently, you could end up shooting somebody on the other side of the wall. So a real dramatic way of saying a trick is not always the best way to get to the end. But a technically informed process with a handful of steps that gets you there concisely. That, my friends, that is where it's at. So for this Why Wednesday, I just want you to think about all the tricks that you hear versus the tips that you can find. And with that, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to hearing maybe some tricks that you've seen that didn't work in the comments or maybe some tips that you might have on something that could be shared with everybody else. Tricks are usually kept to the person that knows them. Tips are readily available from those that learn them. That's all I got. Everybody stay safe.